We're back on the show Country Pocket with Paisley Fields. You're listening to WUSB Stony Brook, 90.1 FM. The new album is Limp Wrist. He's also part of the rebooted Lavender Country. Uh, tell me about growing up religious. Uh, obviously, we just listened to uh, Plastic Rosary. Yeah, I my first job was playing piano in the church, and it was a... I felt a lot of conflict because... I was playing music and I love playing music and I was supported by this little country church that I was a part of that was Catholic. Um, but I also was getting messages that just my very existence was wrong, you know? So it was sort of hard to reconcile that, to feel this this bit of support as, as a musician and as a person, but also have like this really deep rejection that I was getting at the same time. So it was, it was pretty difficult to, to kind of wrestle with that, I guess. At that point, did they know that they were specifically rejecting you? Um, I mean, I'm talking about more like the church as a whole. I, there weren't really specific people in the church where I grew up with who were, who said anything to me. And the funny thing is even like, even when the priests were giving their sermons, they didn't they didn't really talk specifically about gay people. Um, in the church where I grew up, we would go to some other churches, and there there were a couple of instances I can remember where the priests would say things about that. Um, but in my church, I never really got that message directly, but it was you know obviously implied over and over. <laughs> What, what what was it like hearing that message and sort of how were you able to overcome those uh, those messages and those teachings and really embrace yourself? Um, I mean, it was it was painful. It was also a little confusing. And I think at the time, I just sort of tried to shut part of myself off, you know, and for a while I tried to fit in and then I fully rejected it and without ever sort of like dealing with it at all. Um, but now I think I've gotten to the point where I, I understand. I mean, I, I know who I am, and I'm not going to hide any of that for some religion, <laughs> you know? Yeah, well, what are your feelings sort of towards religion and religious people in your life today? Um, also complicated. I know, like, I know religion can be helpful for some people. And that is great for them if it is, and they just use it for themselves and they're not trying to push their beliefs on anyone else or change anybody else to fit what their idea of what's right is. If it's something, you know, a spiritual connection that they have, great, good for you, go do it yourself, don't tell me what to do. Um, but I do think that it causes a lot of harm, especially for, for our community. So, I don't know. I, d I don't love it. Yeah, I, I sort of agree with you there. Religion as the personal guide, uh, I can't, I, I would be a total hypocrite if I told people to not live the way that they want to live. Mm -hmm. But religion as like a bludgeon, mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's why I am very firmly atheist yeah um let's let's end the conversation with a little bit of a queer country history lesson uh tell me about rebooting lavender country all right i was uh very honored to be included you know um they got this lavender country is the first gay country band really um that released an album in the early 70s it was pretty radical at the time and still is and you know i became friends with patrick and he invited me to to record um piano on the new album which i did uh and we've been doing some shows together we did a tour in the spring and uh it's just you know it's it's really fulfilling to be able to perform with him and hear that history and share uh, our love for country music you know yeah i uh what what are your thoughts on the new album? Blackberry Rose. Yes. I love it. It's great. I'm I'm really I'm really thrilled to be a part of it.
I, uh, I always ask my guests at the end of the interview to pick a song. I give them a category and for you, this is going to be slightly tricky because you have to keep in mind that this is an FCC regulated radio program. <laughs> okay. I have a feeling I know where this is going. But pick a song from the original Lavender Country album uh, that that I can play. <laughs> uh, I I think my favorite one is probably Stranger. I can't take I can't shake the stranger out of you. That's very playable. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> There are some, there are some from those two albums that I was like, first of all, really happy to hear it said, and then really disappointed because I'm like, oh, there's no way I can sort of bleep that into... Yeah, it'd be like half the song. <laughs> into, yeah, I, I want, I want to share it, but there was there's no share in some of it yeah, people can go listen on their own <laughs> oh yes on the radio on the radio show we're just going to have uh, i can't shake the stranger out of you on the youtube show um on the youtube show and we i'll i'll let you say it um pick your favorite one that can't be played on radio can i say it now am i I'm, i'll uh, bleep you but yes it's a uh, it's called crying these cocksucking tears I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, we will. We will definitely hear that one. If you go to the YouTube channel Country Pocket on WUSB, you can see the full show, including that song. Um, for those listeners on the radio, I'm sorry. You're only getting one <laughs> Lavender Country song. But uh, Paisley, so awesome talking to you. Thank you, Charles. Really good talking to you, too.